Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm finishing up my ER rotation and I just wanted to bring you along on my first few rotations or first few days to see what it was like and what I was feeling. Um, also wait till the end because I have some tips and tricks for you guys that I wish I knew um, or how to prepare before going into your ER rotation. So let's go. So it's currently 1247 and we're going to prep for our night shift at the ER. And that means that it's a 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift. My preceptor said the easiest way to do this is just stay up really late the night before and don't set your alarm and sleep in the next morning. So it's Thursday, we're staying up late Thursday, sleeping in Friday morning, and then working all Friday night. So let's go to the gym. gym before, but let's hope I don't get in trouble. to see how good the footage turned out because I am filming solo. So you know all those close-ups with the muscles and the er flexing, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's now 3.51 a.m. and I'm gonna go to bed. Hey guys, so it is currently 6.33 and I'm on my way to work. Work starts at 7, but one of those people, I'm one of those people who get super freaked out if they're late. I'd rather be 30 minutes early than be late because it gives me anxiety. So let's do this. Pizza or not to pizza is the question. So it's 7 a.m. I made it. My first night shift done. Just two more in a row to go. Man, I thought. I was going to be able to do it, it's going to be a piece of cake, but around 4 o'clock in the morning I started getting really tired and then around 6 o'clock I was just like, dude, my brain is done, if you ask me any questions, I'm not going to be able to answer you. So going home, going to sleep and hopefully not be late for my next shift. Alright. Yeah, and then could I get two burritos? Carne asada. So you guys would have never guessed I did so much in the ER today. Got to intubate, got to do a lumbar puncture, wrote my own orders, 
gave my own meds. It was crazy. And now I am ordering food for everyone and bringing it back. It's been crazy and it's so great. I like it. All right, everyone, so let's recap. Tip number one, prep for your night shifts. Um, if you're having a Friday night shift, then I would stay up really late Thursday, sleep in Friday morning, and then go to work Friday night to Saturday morning, and then continue that until your day shift. Tip number two, wear sunglasses because it gets so sunny the next day, and especially me going from night and then suddenly, bam, you can't see and then you're really disoriented from pulling an all-nighter so yeah sunglasses come in really good hand uh, come really come in really come in handy <laughs> tip number three practice simple interrupted sutures there's gonna be a lot of patients who come in who cut themselves or in MVAs or just fall because they're drunk and then they're gonna need stitches um, most of the time these are dirty wounds, so that's why you won't always want to do simple interrupted stitches. I'll link uh, a video below where I reviewed so you guys can do a quick fresher before you go into your ER rotation. Tip number four, review um, basic CPR and ACLS because they're going to they're going to call codes a lot and in our hospital uh, the, e the ER doc is the one who goes and intubates the patient. If you're the first one there and you're wearing a white coat, they're going to turn to you and ask you, so what do you want to do? What kind of meds you want to give? And you're, yeah, so just, just review that so you know what's going on. Tip number five, pain management. So this was the subject that I was probably the most weak on just because I always steered away from, I don't know, it feels like there's always bad news associated with opioids. There's um, people who've become addicted, who've become uh, opioid dependent, who are drug seeking, and if they're just trying to con you into giving them more pain medicine, you know, and there's always this bad stigma behind pain, pain medication. Um, the one thing that I feel like I forget is that patients do come into the ER because they are in pain. Supposedly, they tried everything else, and that's why they've come to the ER for your help. I swear, during the first few days, the, when the, my preceptor asked me, so what do you want to do for their pain? I'm just like, uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know what to do for their pain. Um, so there's many ways to approach this. Um, one of my preceptors told me a good way to look at it is duration and onset. Um, for example, Dilaudid is very short acting and also it has a quick onset. And so you can give that to someone that needs intense, more of a quick form of um, pain control. For other people, say like they broke a bone or something like that, you can give them Percocet. It's a longer acting drug, but the caveat is that it takes longer to start working, say like 20 minutes on set. For other things like muscle pain or strains, you could give things like anti-inflammatories like Tordol. So yeah, I hope that helps you um, prep for your ER rotation. There's a good few page of review in the first aid book that I read through before my rotation. I also did all the practice questions in my, my comm bank to prepare for, or I did it throughout the rotation just to like freshen up on ER questions. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. When you graduate from med school, it's gonna be residency. After residency, it's gonna find a stable job. After that stable job, you wanna move up in that job or maybe you wanna open your own clinic.